Oh, you guys with your fan loyalties and everything are probably about to have some jimble jibblies, just so you know, because Apple has screwed up another thing that's going to get them in all sorts of shit. Welcome to Cortec PC. Oh, Apple, Apple, Apple. Ha have you done anything lately that hasn't pissed somebody off? I mean, seriously. How many more things can you possibly do before you piss off even your most loyal customers to where they're never... Yeah, by the way, I'll get to that in just a second, but how much further are you going to push before it, you start seeing your customers being loyal? Uh, what do you put in your products that make everyone so addicted to your shit? Okay, the current rant that I've got going on is over, and I'm going to I'm going to read back on some of the information that I have found on this because I just saw this information less than an hour ago as of time of this recording. Anyway, apparently there is a feature that has been programmed or designed into the iPhones and iPods and pretty much any other mobile platform, including the iPad or anything, where at a push of a button, a cop can disable the thing's ability to send and receive data of any kind. It'll disable its, um, it'll disable the camera, it'll disable the the microphone, it'll disable the internet, phone signal, everything. Like your phone becomes an effective five hundred dollar brick. Like you could just beat someone to death with to get the information out of them because your smartphone is now a brick. Anyway. What is so bad about this is the fact that, okay, we all know that there's corruption everywhere on earth. Like, there's no place where there's not some kind of corruption. And the police force, unfortunately, there are a lot of good cops out there. But then you got the random asshole in the group that decides it's cute to just pull out a the stick they carry around and just wail the shit out of someone because they didn't do something they liked. They could have said something under their breath, you know, which I wouldn't recommend doing to a cop to begin with, but, you know, there's a point where they'll just go too far. Now, the actual link that a friend of mine showed me was um, where the caption reads, Apple helps cops hide police brutality. Um, and... I will probably post one of the links uh, down below for where I found some of this information. But this particular one is from um, the freethoughtproject.com. And it's dated the 12th of May, 2014, so the day of this recording. Excuse me. And, it, and verbatim what it says. The rapid emergence of smartphones with high-definition cameras leads to consequences for law-breaking police officers or cops. That's ad-libbing. Anyway, recently, law enforcement throughout the country has been trying to pass laws that would make it illegal to film them while they are on duty. Now, I do agree with that statement right there you should not film people without their permission but that kind of goes into a gray area that I will cover in a minute anyway it continues to say but Apple is coming out with a new technology that will put all of the power in a cop's hands and that's where this particular this particular um, page goes but then all the comments and everything like still people defending Apple all the way down the list oh my god the people um, are talking, um, <clears throat> they're over there talking about, they're both sides sitting there going, blah, 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 you know, like fanboys are defending their stuff, saying, oh, by the way, um, blah, 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 which, uh, if you look at some of the comments, you could tell the, the types of people that are responding, like these people are saying, oh, well, the cops that, uh, were doing their job because, you know, that person obviously was doing something. I'm sorry, but there are very few reasons to pull a guy out of his car and just beat the unholy hell out of him with a stick. 
or tase him. Like, a cop is supposed to do everything but that unless they absolutely have to. And if they told me to stick my hands out the door and open it from the outside and come out with my hands up, I'm not going to sit there and say, go fuck yourself, police officer. I'm going to say, yes, sir, uh, one second as I get the door open and I will step out. I will climb out of my tiny little car. Well, not so tiny, but I will come climbing out of my very low to the ground car and have my hands sky high and say, I hope like hell that this cop isn't, or I'm not going to say it, but I would hope like hell this cop has got a sense of humor and doesn't want to put a shotgun on my back like a friend of my grandfather's had happened to him. His brother got blown away by a police officer and he got away with it. So yeah, I might have a little bit of a different view than you guys. But anyway, point being, I can see where cops wouldn't want to be videotaped doing everything, but this hasn't been this is not new okay let's go back let's not even go back all the way to the beginning when cops actually got recorded doing stuff let's go back to when cops started you know like uh, people would follow the police officers around i mean you know like half the stuff is staged anyway but i mean seriously wild's police uh, wild's wi uh, world's wildest police videos um, any kind of video you saw on core tv which is now true tv but any kind of video like that the cops are being watched, okay? Reality TV is there too. I mean, you know, sometimes, like maybe 1% of the time is based on something, but 90% of the time, other than that, or 90 to 99% of the time, it's all staged. But, you know, ultimately, you can't have it both ways. Do you want your police officers to do what they're supposed to do? You got to make sure they're doing it. You know, we're not in the day and age now where, oh, I'll say I do it and it'll be done this is a very screwed up world now and it's always been screwed up it's just now we have a lot more access to technology for it but point being ultimately you have the people that want you to have freedoms okay and this is kind of where things start getting political now the typical liberal ways of thinking is that everyone should be free to make their choices and do all that kind of stuff and, you know, there's even the more extreme parts where consequences should be um, subjective to the situation. Um, I kind of agree with that statement, but here's the thing. You can't have it both ways. You have to have some kind of set boundary. Like like the phrase, all is fair in love and war, that's not necessarily true. There are sanctions all over the place, okay? In war, you do not attack civilian ships. You do not attack civilian planes. You don't attack civilian vehicles. You don't do that kind of stuff. If you do, you have the entire world ready to kick your ass. Now, why should it be any different when it comes to, oh, I don't want to have someone watch me beat the shit out of someone because it'll cost me a job. How about... You pull the tampon out of your ass and actually not beat the living shit out of someone and actually try to do your job a little bit better. If if there wasn't so many crooked ass cops and corrupted people to hire them and not do proper checks on them, I mean, come on. These, these people, if they weren't on the police force, they could have very easily turned out to be like a school teacher or a daycare provider. Or some, uh, or nursing home uh, employee, where if you didn't have cameras on them, there's no telling how many bruises your kid would come home with. There's no telling how many, how many of your grandmother's bones would be broken by the end of the month. You know that kind of stuff. This kind of stuff needs to be monitored. With Apple having the ability, or having given the ability to a police officer, which you know, like maybe two or three times out of ten, that's an asshole cop to begin with, because you know you never know with these cops, because you know everyone could be a, a very assuming, like they're harmless. Anyway, you've got Apple giving the kill switch to a, a very, 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 very mainstream platform, being the iOS platform. So you're taking iPod, iPad, iPhone iMac, any kind of computer uh, or any kind of system that can be used. And yeah, you can see someone taking a laptop and doing this to record something with their HD camera on the back or on the front or wherever it is. But nowadays, we've got things like Google Watch. we got um, smartphones everywhere. And they're trying to put kill switches in all of it so they can't record things when they should be. Because we've already seen... Um, situations where smartphones have actually saved lives like 
they've actually pieced together and I've actually seen document documentaries on this where people are actually putting together like the Costa Concordia uh, disaster you know the ship that sank sort of um, people had video camera uh, action going on the entire time and that's how they pieced together that whole disaster uh, of engineering failure and an idiot falling into a boat now what if that was blocked okay what if that ship had a block on it to where none of that stuff could have been recorded the 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 um investigation would probably still be going a dumb fuck would still be free okay he would still be captaining ships and probably have already crashed another one and killed hundreds of more people you know the little things people don't think about it I don't like having restrictions put on me either okay I don't really like having my choices taken away if I want I can see where a cop comes from but here's the thing you're put in a position where you're more powerful than a normal person and most people resent that because they don't like having people having more authority than they do humans are very what is it? We're very territorial. We're all that kind of stuff. But Apple, what the fuck were you thinking? Okay? I've never been a fan of yours. Ever since I had an iPod Touch and it got stolen, I realized how stupid of an investment it was. I understood finally after having five generations of iPods. I supported your company forever. I loved iTunes back before it became GIMPed. I used my iPod for everything. I used it as a media storage system. I used it for, I used it to store my homework on. I I had a flash drive as an iPod, an iPod as a flash drive. I had thousands of songs on. I had hours and hours and hours and hours of video on there. I had it, books occasionally that I'd read comics, all that kind of stuff. I'd have all that stuff on there. And then you guys had to screw things up this bad. You're sitting there coming up with with lawsuits for stupid stuff like you guys are sitting there I don't know how you still are in business I have no idea how people are so hooked on your technology I know people that give their like five-year-old children I got I I know someone personally that has a four-year-old with an iPad okay I asked her I've known her for a few months now I'm sitting there going why but you could have gotten her a little bitty Kindle Fire for like 80 bucks or whatever and it would have been just fine, but no. Brand loyalty. You guys, the only reason you're still alive is because people refuse to let go of that. If, if your brand crumbled just a little bit, especially with this crap that you're very slowly and painfully eroding yourself away, uh, you'll be out of a job. All of you. And Honestly, if you're going to keep doing this shit, I really hope I see it lives long enough to see you burn. I really do. Because you're sitting there taking the power away from the people. You are violating. You are, you're not just stepping on. You're freaking curb stomping on the First Amendments of the United States Constitution. If you're not familiar with the judicial system and the legal systems of the United States, Amendment 1 is kind of important. Okay? So, stop trying to take it. People are already pissed off because they're trying to take Amendment 2 away. Do you really want to piss off people more? We're already this close to probably having an all-out civil war in this country. We've already had our internet threatened. They're talking about taking our internet away, censoring everything. Okay, that's all part of the First Amendment. And you're trying to take away our right to protect ourselves from aggressive people I'm sorry if I saw someone beating a child if I was not blacked out furious before I, I could get my phone out to record the incident that way I had proof when I beat the shit out of the guy that way I wouldn't go to hell too or you know prison I I would be pissed okay this actually borderline infuriates me it really does because People are so unimaginably ignorant to this whole thing. They will 
no one ever reads the terms and conditions of what they're getting into. You guys are very, very, very slick with that, and I hate you for it. It's a beautiful thing that you do with your marketing techniques, but when you don't let people know that you're putting these features into their devices and then never, maybe, maybe never needing it, but the second that they do need it for some reason, it's not there. I'm sorry, if I'm going to pay $400 or more for a brick, it better be made out of gold, okay? It better be made out of something valuable because I'll tell you right now, if I was to get anywhere near, I think the radius on this is supposed to be within a five-mile radius, so if you're within five miles of an incident taking place, you know how many people's phones will be shut down assuming Apple is one of the most common smartphone providers in the United States? Think if they did this in New York City, okay, we'll do it in Atlanta, we'll do it in LA, any major city in the United States, a five mile radius, if you combine those really dense areas I just mentioned, how many people do you think just lost their phone service? If you disable that many people's phone services, there's no telling how many people could get hurt. What about someone whose parents are dying in a hospital and no one can get a hold of them to where they can come say goodbye? You want that on your conscience? Oh, how about all the people that are trying to call for help? What about people trying to call 911? If you're disabling their phones, which is where this could theoretically go to, I have no idea exactly to what degree that this system would actually take things, but if it keeps going to a certain point, even calling for an ambulance could be a pain. Like, I even posted not too long ago, actually, within the last hour after I read this, I posted on there that this is a disaster waiting to happen, and I'm really hoping that it's, if it does continue this way, that it stops at one point. I mean, you know, watching a cop beat the shit out of someone is one thing, but if you're disabling the entire area around, I have no idea exactly, it could be anywhere between 150 feet or outside of the view range of an iPhone's camera, I... Honestly, with camera, uh, with camera phones, smartphones, whatever you want to call them, getting more and more advanced, they've got a pretty good range before they get out of range to where they can't record. My brother's got a camera that has got like an 8 megapixel camera on it, or a phone with an 8 megapixel camera, and I have to back up a bit before he can't really see me clearly. So, you know, just think about that. If you disable everything within that far of a range, because I would imagine it would be near the police vehicle, You know, wouldn't it be the more simple and safer thing to do is evaluate every single cop you've got and make sure that they actually fit the honesty and integrity that a police officer is supposed to have? Wouldn't it just be a little bit easier? Wouldn't it be just a little bit cheaper? Wouldn't that be a little bit less in the the collateral damage? How about hiring a few more police officers that can actually relieve the other cops? You know, there are over 350 million people in the United States and you know how many cops there are not enough okay Let, let's go a little bit further we'll go into the gun controlled parts of the United States let's go to uh, what I think it's uh, Detroit one of the I think it's either Chicago or Detroit anyway those cities have some of the highest crime rates in the United States if a cop's anywhere nearby and they decide to flip that kill switch, even if they're not on that particular incident, what about the people who are ca trying to catch these criminals so they can actually report it to the police? You are literally... You're shooting yourself in the foot, literally, because you're stopping people from helping you do your job. You're making your own job more difficult, which throughout the entire history of the police force in the United States cops have always relied on clues and tips from anonymous people or any kind of assistance they could get that's how things are you're supposed to help your fellow man this whole thing with Apple is literally taking a screwdriver and shoving it up your ass and twisting it in the opposite direction that it needs to go so I don't know about you but I'd rather not have a reverse anal roto rooter Okay, so, yeah, I digress. This rant has gone on 
far along enough, so I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, I'm going to uh, find something else to do, I guess, because talking about this shit just pisses me off. So, yeah, guys, as always, this is Cody of Cortec PC signing off. Be sure to rate, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, share, and, uh, yeah, like I, uh, like I just mentioned, down below, I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts, your theories, your commentary. I want to hear whatever you've got. I mean, you know, I'm sure the libtards and all that stuff are going to be all on my ass about this. But you know what? I don't care. All right? I'm not even going as far as brand labeling right now. This is technology that should never, ever, ever be implemented. Ever. Okay? This should not happen. Think about it. Your children could be in danger because of things like this. People could get hurt or worse. And people will get hurt. At the very least. Alright? So anyway guys, this is Cody Cortez PC signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.